Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Gray Man Prepping. It is time for Tactical Tuesday, where we talk tactics, gear, and more. And we're going to be doing a little bit of tactics and more tonight, because tonight's topic is temporary tattoos for uh, temporary kids' tattoos for safety. And how's everybody doing out there? All right, let me get over here to the to the chat thing. Now, something I've noticed right now, YouTube is I keep on, you know, I have to do like four or five times. I've reset the YouTube portion, not the StreamYard portion, the YouTube portion over here, trying to make comments, and it keeps blocking them. So um, I'm going to see if I can do it from here and see what happens when I go across here. But uh, let's say hi to everybody first in order here. <laughs> All right, first one in was Phelan Clan Wolf, followed by Walt Rogers, then Shadow Scout Swede, then Aiden Ear, Mother Earth Garden Club, and everyone, uh, uh, Lewis, it's the Marshmallow Man's here, and Lee, Cold War Preppers here, and I'm going to try something here right now. Let's see if it'll let me put it in here. Uh, 10, 10 minute. Um, you this you know just take me off it's an it's doing all sorts of error try again when I'm trying to make comments using YouTube stop the trolls let's see if that goes in ah an error card so YouTube is blocking comments from me on my own friggin' channel. Hey, Skinner, how's it going? Or maybe they don't want me talking about trolls. Let me see if it's the word trolls. Yeah, it won't let me put trolls in. So. Let me try something again here. Uh, no, that's not the one I want to put in there. Let's try this again here. Yeah, this is ticking me off that YouTube is being so protective of trolls and not. Let me see if I can change if I change this around and do some different things and put some different letters in here. If it'll let it go in. Nope. It, uh, YouTube is not wanting me to comment on my own channel here. I, uh, let me, uh, I'm going to have to see if I can hit refresh again over here. YouTube is being blank, a bank, blank. I'm trying to reset it there. Oh, man. Okay, I see. Uh, all right. Uh, Ting Ting just came in, made a comment. Okay, I'm seeing I can't type either from uh, Shadow Scout Suite, anything either from Shadow Scout Suite. It, now it's showing up here. I can see those comments here now. Uh, yeah. Um, Cold War purposes won't let me type that word either. <clears throat> yeah, YouTube's having hookups tonight. All right. So, um, yeah, very interesting. Because even if I just say, uh, let me try something here. Just... Uh, I saying hi everyone on the one and is it going no it won't let me say hi everyone come on get back yeah it's it's doing it's uh, YouTube's doing really weird things here try this again Okay, that time it allowed me to say hi, and I'm going to try our uh, trolls. No, it doesn't like the word. It doesn't like. Uh, I did. I did trolls, and then it doesn't like that. It's YouTube is uh, YouTube is being a dictatorial crapshoot right now. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so yeah. Yeah, I've uh, I've restarted it about four times. I got it to say hi, and the next time I type something in, 
Let's see. Uh, let's try high again. Yeah, I won't even let it take high. So, yeah, YouTube is still doing something stupid. And since it's my live stream, they still, you know, they shouldn't be doing that. Okay. And it's not like, yeah, I don't know why. So I can't, I can't type stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And it's even beyond, beyond all recognition there, Ting Ting. It's beyond all belief. All right. So, um, and I'm expecting him to say, oh, you're saying tattoos and kids. All right, so let's get some things straight here. This is safety stuff, and this was recommended by um, uh, Rachel Knight. And see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up over here. And if I find it here, there it is. Da, 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 da. So um, I got to shift some things around here so I can bring this up here. Um, uh, where is the one here? All right, uh, open a new tab. There we go. All right, so um, Rachel is in the military, or her husband is, and um, one of the things she said, uh, she sent me a bunch of things in one email topics. And we're on the last one here now. It says, kid tattoos wash off of, of water kind. You can do this with a Sharpie, but it stays on longer. Um, and she gives a link, and I'll be showing that link here in a, in a, in a little bit here. Uh, she says, we use these during um, PCS's military move for the kids in case they ever get lost. But if we ever have to leave due to an, uh, a natural disaster, these are awesome. and take about three minutes to put on a child. You can get custom-made ones with addresses, phone numbers, etc. I also do uh, things like make sure I take a picture of my kids before leaving the home. Yes, every time. Uh, knowing exactly what your kids have, have on is important. If your child gets lost and you panic and trying to recall what uh, what cartoon T-shirt your kid had on that day. All right, so that's what um, – that off there. Move that back over here where it belongs. There we go. And so um, – one, the, the one thing she sent me, well, I'm not going to save that for a second. I'm going to drop that down and bring up the uh, slideshow. And we will go through the slideshow here. And as you can see on the thumbnail here, it has one of those one of those uh, ones showing there. So let's go on here. So you got these uh, temporary tattoos. You can get them pre-filled out. Or you can just have it um, with a phone number. Or you can write the phone number in, in pink, uh, pen or ink or whatever on it. Ah, oh, Brenda, 1900 Homestead is here. Hey, uh, Brenda, or Duncan, 1900 Homestead, Brenda. Kaylin Strain is here. <clears throat> yeah, and you can also get the wristbands, too, on it, but uh, the wrist, wristbands kind of like show up if someone grabs your kid and tries to run, shows up, and you know, so they, they can pull a knife, cut that off real quick once they get around the corner or whatever. But if you have, like, a here in this picture here, a tattoo that's up on the sleeve or under on, in a shirt on the forearm, not out in the open, right? Easy, but a kid goes, "Yeah, I'm lost." But you know, here's the number right here. You know, to the police. That way, uh, that works. Uh, are right, you Utah, Mike? All right. So let's uh, see. There's a, there a whole bunch of different ones. These are the ones you can get. You can get the ones you know, like that. You know, same company, the safety tat. You got a uh, mermaid ones that has a little mermaid on it. You have the monster ones. You got some of the, 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 the mashup ones or different things on it. You can also get um, this here, and I'm going to have to take this escape out so I can show what this does. You notice everything's backwards on this? That's because oh, – I'm going to go back. Escape out of it. Boom, there we go. And if I take this here and do picture format and rotate, come on, here. There, now you can read it. So I'm gonna, let me do that and take us back up here, right here. Make that big again. So see, now you can read it because that's why it, it's, it's backwards on the sticker. So when you stick it on there, on them, it turns it around right. So, um, but some of them, you know, they have stuff where you can write your, uh, they have safety tap pins to write on it. And this one here I thought was kind of cute. If you get the one that, you know, it, it, it kind of looks like a watch and someone's not going to pay attention to it. Look at it. Is that a real watch? They just kind of, if they grab something, your kid or something, you know, it has information on it there. I think that's the last one. No, I got one more here. 
So I see you have it hidden in places like, you know, you know someone's not going to see it. And now they can show it to somebody. That's one of the ways to uh, protect. Okay, let me drop that, get that out of there. So we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff here. If I can get that other one up here now. And this is the one that Rachel sent. It's on Etsy. And uh, they got all the different ones here you can do. Yeah, you got questions, answers on them, stuff, but you got all the different type ones you can get up here um, showing. So, yeah, there are a lot of different ones here you can get. And it has a little video on it on um, how to do that. Hey, Double Dog Prepper, how's it going? But, you know, it's like um, what's interesting is um, some of the ones you can do, like the dry erase ones, have you ever used to put dry erase on your hand? It's it's there. you got to wash it a couple times before to get it to come off, or you got to use something like a um, uh, the mechanic's hand soap, you know, like the zip cinch or whatever, so it, it, to get all the grease and stuff off. That'll, that'll remove uh, some of the stuff a lot quicker. <clears throat> yeah, and you could do both the uh, – um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the temporary tat and the wristband as well. <laughs> Hang on. My wife wanted a permanent one like that for me. <laughs> hey, Sumi. And so, um, yeah, I, I've heard people joke about this um, years ago. Because they used to have, you know, uh, they used to have this years ago, and it kind of just, I got lost track of it. And when uh, Rachel sent it to me, it got boom, there it is. And um, it was interesting on that, so that it's uh, back again and it's so prevalent. Um, you, you, you Google um, uh, temporary uh, kid tattoos for safety, and you'll get all these different companies that put all sorts of different ones out there. Yeah, the, yeah, the uh, the um, permanent marker lasts a while. I mean, heck, even a regular ballpoint pen lasts a day or two. So there's a there's a lot of different options for it. But uh, I like what she said also is that take she takes pictures like oh we're going to, we're going to go out to the you know to the mall. So I'm going to take everybody's picture. It's in the phone just in case. And and you get back home, you know, delete, 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 and so your phone doesn't get totally loaded up with uh, you know, the kids' pictures. Um, it just you know just gets gets me that the world has changed so much, you know, because when we you know when I was young and I was a kid, it was like. All right. One of the first things we we learned and we memorized was our address, and uh, then the phone number. Of course, the phone number wasn't you know we didn't have cell phones, so you could you know someone had to be home to answer the phone. But there are a lot of things to do for the kids, safety wise, to help them memorize stuff and to um, be safe that way. Um, one thing to, and I froze, one of those things that, uh, gets me thinking about that is, oh, I still have the background up from when I was over on, uh, uh, cold, uh, Lee's channel, uh, cold, uh, water prepper is that the, um, let me get the team up here instead. Boom. There we go. Cause not everybody can have a team looking out for them to watch out for their kids. Uh, yeah, and it also worked for people with, uh, you know, d diminished co cognitive functions, uh, the elderly with um, Alzheimer's or dementia, also um, certain uh, kids, teenagers, and adults with uh, different levels of autism and uh, ability to communicate. Okay, let me try this again. I'm going to try it again to see if I can say hi over here, see if it's letting me... Um, or whether it's still screwing up and not allowing me to. Uh... Okay, that time it allowed me to say, hey, everyone. 
Yeah, it was really bad. But I mean, I couldn't put nothing in there. But yeah. So anybody that's new in here and you're wondering why you, why I have a 10 minute, oh, you gotta, um, you have to uh, be a uh, subscriber for 10 minutes because the trolls are out in force again, and they've been hitting stuff. So and I've been deleting a lot of comments off of the uh, uh, regular videos because the trolls are out there making snide comments, and so it's like. Uh, you know, ban that one, ban that one, ban that one. And so, old timers disease. Uh, oh, you mean the brain farts we get? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Moon over Miami. All right. Um, thought our daughter was wife's full names. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it you know don't don't get get me wrong on this. One. You know after we taught our kids, you know, you know, you know we told you know um, our kids knew you know my first name, my wife's first name, and everything, and, and the phone numbers. One of the next things we taught them is someone grabs you since you're small, you punch them in the uh, area as hard as you can, and and to make them let, let go, or you kick them. As hard, hard as you can to make it make them let go of you. Shoot, when I was so how old was it when my dad gave me a first pocket knife? I was in kindergarten. My dad gave, gave me one of his old three uh, um, three blade old timers, and so yeah. Of course, that wasn't for that. He was just you know because I was always trying to borrow his to do whittling and stuff like that. So. But, you know, nowadays, so, oh, you can't have a kid with a knife anymore. Shoot, everybody in school, when I went to school, had a pocket knife. Nowadays, you take a pocket knife to school. Oh, you can't have that. You're a threat. It's like, uh, no, it's, uh, it's a standard tool every boy, should, every boy and girl should carry. My daughter went to school with a pocket knife. And tell, oh, someone got in trouble for, for having a pocket knife. So I went and called the principal. I go, no, it's not a weapon. It's a tool. It's only a weapon if you're an idiot. Yeah, that principal didn't like me after that. Of course, the principal asked me to come into office. I came in in my Homeland Security uniform. I go, what? She, she went from, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick on you. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had two dimes in case the machine, in case the payphone ate one. <laughs> yeah. Also, when I went to high school, when I went to high school, every pickup in the uh, in the student parking lot had a rifle and or shotgun in the rack behind the in in, in the back window. But you know, you know, safety thing now for kids is so much different than it was when we were young. Um, you, uh, it's just you know, there's you know, people. The the whiny snowflake bleeding heart thinks, oh, you can't do this, can't get is imp actually empowering the the Looney Tunes out there. Oh, good, cool. kids don't have knives anymore. Kids don't do that. Yeah, yeah, we can do whatever we want now because there's. We don't have to worry about you know the uh, the kids shooting us or, or or stabbing us or doing something like that. Yeah, exactly. Now, um, I did a live uh, uh, did a live stream and also done some uh, uh, other videos on situational awareness. And I had Steve from Corsair Trainers up here when we did the. Uh, the, the, the live stream one for our kids teaching kids situational awareness and this whole thing is about kids safety the tats the, uh, the, the temporary tattoos for kids for um, safety purposes is one of those things that um, you know it's you know you need to teach the kids unfortunately we were having to teach them because you know the people you know the, you know the government, as, oh, we can. We only we can make proper decisions for you. You don't know what you what is 
it's proper for you only we can and it's taking the rights as uh, parents away from us that, you know, and from our kids and the rights as uh, as our of our kids and uh, to protect themselves and so uh, you got to teach them these things because they can no longer protect themselves because you're a bully if you protect yourself or you're at fault if you protect yourself if someone's if someone comes up in and, and starts beating on you you can't fight back because then you're you're you're, you're the troublemaker if you fight back but um yeah there's a lot of things to consider here and okay this is weird right now it says there's only three people watching and I see a bunch of comments going by in the thing of people making comments. So YouTube is really screwing with it tonight. They're only acknowledging that three, three of you out there are watching. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven have made comments here just recently. Yeah. And I know for a fact that others are, others are watching too. Hey, Ace Man. Hey, good. All right, yeah. So um, uh, there are some things here um, to consider about this. So um, anything you can think of that will help you keep go work I'm not here. <laughs> Me and my shadow, I'm shadow lot. I mean, that's it. And it still says three people watching and you got uh, uh one two three four five six seven eight at least eight that i can see you know and i know i'm watching over here on um on youtube so that should be counting as nine so but the yeah oh, oh it finally went up to four. Oh, it went back down to three yeah so um youtube is doesn't like the, probably doesn't like the name of this I think we're uh, ta it's about it's, the AI is going crazy. Oh no, you can't talk about that. And so, yeah, let me let me see what happens here. I'm going to try to put a a single word in. You see, we, YouTube is still going totally nuts here on it. Oh, it allowed me to type the word troll in there. Yeah, it wouldn't allow, allow me to type the word troll. So, yeah, amazing. Okay, well, we're up to four. It's uh, YouTube is acknowledging that four people are watching it. They're hiding all the others. I've noticed that a lot with uh, every, all everyone's channels, even when I go in to watch with Kaylin's or anybody else's. Hey, Butch, how's it going? And I go to, if I'm the first one in there, I click thumbs up. It shows that I click thumbs up, but it's not counting the number. And then I some other people that I know that hit the thumbs up when they come in, start, you know, come in on something and make, and the number still says zero thumbs up. And then all of a sudden it'll go up by one after about 10 minutes. It's like, yeah, so yeah, YouTube is playing games so they don't have to pay out the, uh, the money for the advertising on the, um, on the uh, things here, on the ads they put in. Yeah, they they unsubscribe a lot of pe a lot of people. I mean, it's just ridiculous what's going on. Um, let me see if I can bring that up here, show you guys exactly how ridiculous it is. Okay, um, here we go. This is what's been going on for the over the last couple of. Uh, you know, you know, it's keep on showing it, it dropping down here. I'm losing three subscribers. So, you know, no subscribers. Losing a uh, subscriber. Oh, I picked up seven. And then all of a sudden I'm back down again. I'm minus three, minus two. No, you know, flat line. No, no subscribers. No subscribers. And it's you know ridiculous what they're doing to um, you know anybody put, putting out the truth out there because the truth doesn't match their wingnut um, agenda. That happens too. You get it. It shows uh, zero views, but three likes. And I've, I've seen, I've had one that had uh, recently that had zero likes. And um, I think it had like, uh, like 37 views, had zero likes. 
And I got emails from a couple front, a couple front friends saying, "Hey, I tried putting in a like, it wouldn't do it." And so I know people are putting in likes, and it's just not. They're you know they, they're not you know, they're, they're, they're it's one of the things they program the algorithm now to hamper those that aren't part of the uh, the left wing nut uh, association. Yeah, they can't handle the truth. It ruins their world. He's a bully. He's telling the truth. Oh, no. We got to stop him from telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, anyways, for your kids, protecting your kids, there's a lot of ways to protect your kids. Um, oh, shit, let me see here. Um, I'm going to see if I can bring something up here. All right. All right. So. All right. I got um, I got two things on situational awareness here. One was shows your prep for the day. Number 208 uh, was that was the uh, for my security week was a little short blip on it. But um, video number 20 teaching kids situational awareness was one that uh, was a live stream, it was an hour live stream. And I, of course there are trainers up here. And uh, if you need something to refer back to, that's the one there. And let's take a look at it. Yeah, so that's the, that's the thumbnail on it. And, and you, you also use, use sit, kid, situation, uh, games to teach kids situational awareness. And there are, um, it's like Steve was uh, talking about the same thing. When he was do, uh, doing the uh, situational awareness uh, videos about going walking around the neighborhood and playing a game with the kids, I spy with my little eye, and the kids getting the kids looking around trying to find what you spy, so teaching them situational awareness. <laughs> um, my wife gives me a bad time because she's she's a lefty, left-handed. But as she goes, well, uh, left-handed people, we're the only ones in our right mind. <laughs> because the left hemisphere, right, right hemisphere, if, if, you know, vice versa and stuff. So, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's being really weird here. Yeah, my my dad was was left-handed. My wife is left-handed. I think our my daughter's left-handed, although she's probably come trained herself to be ambidextrous because she's uh she's uh, um, my daughter has been into knives since she saw my first knife catalog when she was like five years old, and when she went to uh went to uh, the university, she was uh, uh got on the uh, fencing team and the second or third semester on the second on at, at the university, she was the captain of the fencing team. And, you know, of course that's right-handed proper, you know, foil and, um, at, at the, uh, stance, but, um, she and a couple others, uh, she'd find others that were left-handed. And at first it ticked off the teacher that oh, we're both left-handed. We want to be able to do both. And then finally the teacher goes, okay, right. All right. And the teacher actually worked with them. For to, to to do both hands uh, for fencing. <laughs> yeah, I know a few of those too. Of course, sometimes knowing uh, the proper type of underhanded person is a great asset. Yeah. So yeah, who's uh, who's underhanded? Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, wait. Lee Christmas is uh, underhanded, and so is uh, uh, Doc back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah my dad was uh he he was uh, uh uh he used to call it he was a southpaw that's what they used to call it and not left-handed he used to call it southpaw and that's become <gasps> you can't call that you know you gotta say left-handed you know and uh so he was born in 1930. So yeah, they were, you know, the schools were heavy. Oh, you're you're, you're wrong. You got to be using your right hand. 
So, you know, he learned to write with both hands. And I froze. Uh, I mean, he could do just about everything either handed because, you know, he learned to do both hand, hands and stuff. Um, shoot both hands. Um, rope both hands. He was in the rodeo. Uh, yeah. But it was interesting. All right. So my dad, left-handed proper thing. They actually make, and you can find them out there, left-handed monkey wrenches and crest wrenches. And you get what, what? The thread to adjust the jaws is backwards, it, or it's left hand. It's not right hand. It's for left handed. So they do it just like they do the other. And so they are out there. He had he had a set of. Them. Unfortunately, my my brother got them. Got those. Got those. But um, but he, my brother was right handed, and his wife is right handed. My wife is left handed. She's the one that should have got those wrenches. <laughs> yes, left handed scissors. And there are left-handed scissors specifically for seamstresses and tailors. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, uh, the school system changed shortly after I went into high school. In junior high, they used to have what's they used to have one of those um, racquetball paddles, you know, uh, and they they would, in PE they'd swat the, the boys with it, and uh, yeah, and my my last year in junior high, someone complained, and so all of us went to the principal saying, "Hey, they are they're physically beating us." Well, this does that, and so one of the kids uh, who wasn't getting beat, parent was a was a lawyer, went home and told his dad. And his dad showed up the next day with the cops and all four gym teachers went off to jail. But that was you know, one month left of, of uh, my uh, um, uh, ninth grade uh, in junior high. And that's when the Los Angeles school system changed the policy of beating kids, you know, in school. It's interesting. Uh, my wife uh, being left-handed, she, you know, because basically, all right. So I sign like this. She signs like this, so that she can write. Um, if she's writing on a paper, as she comes down, it gives it a chance to dry before her hand goes over it. So that's why she, you know, she she, she really hurt things on it, and if she if she tests the ink too. If the ink of the of the of the pen is not a fast drying ink. Oh man, she just she hates it because she'll it'll, she'll wind up with smears sometimes, and she specific, specifically went gets fine tip pens, and um, is it paper mate, or one of the other ones that had a fast drying ink in a fine that she would uh, stock up on. Yeah, we sort of went 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 uh, sideways here, off the rails from, uh, you know, you know, tattoos and stuff. <clears throat> I remember when I was a kid, did we get tattoos? You lick your hand, and you get the, the thing out of the Cracker Jack box, you put it on there, and you rub it on top of it, and it peel off. Ah, cool! And if you're quick enough, you could get two of them out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember. Since we're, we're it seemed, everyone seems to like the, the left-handed kick, give me a second here. <laughs> Open a new tab. Da, 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 da. Historical. Left-handed people. Okay. Here we go. Left-handed people. I got Leonardo da Vinci, left-handed. Uh, Babe Ruth. Wolfgang Mozart. I ain't going to talk about some of these other ones. Uh, Sandy Koufax. You know, baseball. Left-handed as well. Uh, uh, McEnroe, the, uh, the bad boy of tennis. 
I thought it would show me better, you know, more people that were, uh, let's see what the uh, Guardian says. Artists. Ah. So here you go, actors and stuff, all these other different ones that are left-handed. Pierce Brosnan's left-handed, Kim Basinger, Duru Barrymore, Jim Carrey, Charlie Chaplin, Tom Cruise, Robert Freeman, Julie Gar. Whoa, yeah, there are a lot of left-handed uh, Chewbacca the Wookiee. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, uh, let's see. Okay, so I graduated in 75, so 74, 73. So 72 was my ninth grade, was, I was in ninth grade in junior high. And, uh, yeah, that's when they, so that's when they stopped it in the Los Angeles school system. Of course, my dad also told the principal, if there's something he needs to be beat for, you tell me, and I'll beat him. Because I'll beat him proper amount that is discipline, not punishment. And if you beat him, and my dad, my dad one time said, if you beat him again, I'll show you how my dad used to beat me to the principal. Principal didn't like that. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. King Pooba is in the house. What's funny, I get I give my wife a bad time about certain things, and then she gives me a bad time about because you know. All right, so my uh, dad was eight year eight years younger than my mom. My grandmother was four years younger than her husband. And I'm not, I have to go back into the genealogy book to say that, but I am eight years older than my wife. And so, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's a, uh, it's rather interesting. And we give each other about left-handed, right-handed, you know, well, you, and she's like, well, it's a good thing you waited so long to ask me out. Otherwise you could have gotten in trouble for robbing the cradle. It's like, hey, I didn't know you until I asked you out practically. Yeah, working uh, construction and stuff and carpentry work and electrical wiring, I've learned pliers and stuff both because sometimes you can't get in. You got to get in there with the pliers and needle those the other way. Or if you're hammering, oh, I got to hammer this way here because I can't get around it with the boards and stuff. So, yeah, I've learned to hammer both hands. Both hands, um, do hand tools and stuff, do screws on and off. Oh, by that phone crazy night. It's not just a phone, it's uh, YouTube. And that's what's weird is there's not that I was, you know, I was watching Suspicious Observers. Kaylin, correct me if I'm wrong. It's tomorrow night. We're supposed to, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, we're supposed to get a possible um, light CME hit. So uh, yeah, and of course the sun, the sunspot, you know, the you know, from the uh, this morning looking at it, it's like holy crud! It looks like the sun's got chicken pox, all the little sunspots all over it. You know, whereas you know five days ago it was nothing. So yeah, but yeah, you know, when you want to protect your, you know, your kids, your grandkids, whatever, think outside the box. I think the one thing that um, Rachel uh, uh, recommended in her email when she recommended this topic, oh, which reminds me, I need to change that banner. Boom. There we go. It was um, when you're going out someplace, take, you, know, you get the kids kids gathered up, take a, picture, take a picture of them in front of the car or whatever, so you have a picture of them, of what they're wearing, so if one of them does wander off, okay, all right, this is what that one's wearing. And there was another one that arrived um, earlier, but it was 
practically nothing. That was, I mean, it was literally, it was like this, uh, this morning or something, or, or, or when I say this morning, like three o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, that was practically nothing. And it was, it was bad. I mean, it was that. Teachers were mean in those days. No, teachers were stressed out because, you know, some of us were wild hellions in those days. And it's the only way they could cope. But some of them were just plain old, you know, I can get away with it because everybody else is. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, think about different ways that you can, you know, if you guys come up with ideas later on, drop back in and just put a, uh, a comment in, you know, add a comment to it. So anybody else come in and we'll see co comments of other uh, ideas and stuff for keeping kids safe. Um, with the ages that kids are, getting cell phones because schools want them to access the web on their on their cell phones now which we got in a big fight with with the, with the school school district our our kids were at it's like uh our kids don't need to have a cell phone you know they need you and you guys need to be teaching stuff from a book not from a not from a cell phone and um and a lot of other parents were mad too because our kids cell phones are phones they don't have they have no internet capability but uh you know now they have them with, with the gps tracking on them and stuff but you can also get uh instead of the phone they have um let's see if i can find that here hang on here if i can bring that up for you here actually let me go back here and do it this way here um g p s For our kids, mini, and there we go. All right, so here we go. So I typed in mini GPS tracking device for kids. You look at the, look at the size, the size of some of these things here, all right? It's like on a key ring chip or something like that. Um, little, little things like that. Let's go to images. So, yeah, they're... Uh, I mean, you can, you can just, uh, some of these you can just attach to their, their clothing. Uh, and you can, you know, to tra to track the kids and stuff, where they're at. They got, you know, some of these ones are, are bigger. I like the real, real small ones. Uh, or the ones like these little clip things where you can pin it to the inside of a pocket. You know, the, 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 the pants pocket or a shirt pocket and you just clip it in there. So, um, you know, it'll keep it so that basically, you know, where your, uh, kids are at, you know, especially like you go to like uh, Marine world or discovery kingdom or Disneyland or universal, you can uh, track, uh, track them. And, um, yeah, some people have said, you know, you just put it on the backpack. Well, they get snatched. The backpack's getting dropped. Whoever snatched them is going to drop the backpack and off with them. Hey, Courtney, how's it going? Howie, food forest permaculture's in the house. So, yeah, there are a bunch of little trackers you can get for them. Um, the other thing, too, on some of these trackers, let's see. Uh, or see, I'll get back to one of these other ones here. Some of these small ones like this and stuff, uh, about the size of a dog tag, you can put a safety pin through it and pin it inside the shirt, you know, where it's not going to bug them. And that way you can, uh, you know, if the kid, you know, the kids get lost, you can track them down. So, yeah, there are options out there, but uh, I, I like the, uh, let me see what bring. Let me see if I can go and bring this up here. This way here. Um, uh, 
No. Spell it right. Temporary. Um, or it's got to have the safety in there, otherwise we won't find it. Yeah, so they got all the different ones here. You, can, you know, you can get here um, for imprint temper, custom temporary tattoos, uh, safety tat. You know, is the one company there that I showed on the slideshow. And so all sorts of different ones. And so go back up here. I'm just going to hit the uh, images. And you can see all sorts of, uh, you know, the different ones here you can get. You know, you can see, like, this is one of the ones I used in the slideshow. And so I like the I like the fact that the, well, they could put it on the inside on the wrist, not the outside, because that everybody can see it. But being on the wrist, it's going to be less likely to be spotted by uh, certain people. But uh, it also uh, has uh, there, there's the one so you put the safety tag on, and then you can write the phone number in. Whatever, Al like allergy alerts, nuts, eggs, and stuff. And you get that, and you put, get up the phone number. You get up with everything printed on it, you know. Is that one going to come up, focus up? No, that one's a blurry one. It's not going to focus up on it. But, yeah, there's a bunch of different ones to use. So. The youngest kid is over 40. <laughs> Oh, you just made my mind go to the whole nother level of the of the over forty uh, uh, comment. Is your spouse? Do you suspect your spouse has been stepping out on you? Do you need to know where they're at? Use our kid tracker uh, app to track your spouse wherever they're going when they're away from home. Yes. Jackets that works too, but the thing is too. Sometimes they will if they if the kid's in a jacket and has a backpack on, they're going to strip off the backpack and then they're going to strip off the jacket, so the kid just has the shirt on and stuff. So their appearance is altered because the first thing the parents are going to say, "Yeah, he had his red, he had his red and blue jacket on." Yeah, I teach the kids, so yeah, if someone's trying to grab them, you know, yell fire, whatever, or, you know, of course, nowadays, if a, if a little kid yells uh, the R word, uh, it's going to get everybody's attention. And the way the, the channel, the way YouTube's acting up, I don't want to say the uh, the um, R word, because they'll probably, ah, no, nope, can't talk about that in kids. Uh, grandkids' phone is they have trackers on them, <laughs> and it won't lay them down for a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My my grandkids don't have phones, and their parents say they're not going to have phones until the school district here requires them to have something, and then they're going to tell the school district what you need to provide. If you want to use a uh, uh, the internet in in the in the classroom, you need to provide a tablet for them in the classroom. Because until and uh, for um, our our kids did not have a cell phone until they were fresh no, no sophomores in high school. All right, Lee, take care. <coughs> uh, all right, here. Uh, getting a little sore throaty here. All right, uh, let me bring up uh, what's coming up here. I think we've uh, covered this as, as much as we can. All right, so tomorrow night on my other channel, Camp Pat and Family Compound, or the email right there is for, uh, 
the topic is bugs, good, bad, and the ugly. We're talking about bugs for the for the garden and some of the bugs to get in the house from the garden. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow. Um, Saturday, back here on Gray Man Prepping, the topic is mainstream media admits mind control agenda. And we're going to talk about all the different entities that are trying to control what we think and do, say, and believe. So we, that's uh, Saturday's going to be, uh, well, let's see, uh, hang on here. For Saturday, I'm going to have to go with uh, this background. We're going down the rabbit hole. And uh, Monday on Cat Pat and Family Compound with uh, Rebel Canners and Chef Tech. We're going to be talking about canning nut and fruit butters. All the different type of butters you can make from nuts and fruits. And let's see, next Tuesday here, uh, this was a recommended one. I forgot to put who did recommend it on there. It's what, um, what new skill are you learning now? So we're going to talk about new skills that we've learned recently, this year, within the last year. We're going to talk about why you uh, we want to know why you look pick that particular skill you wanted to learn and you know just you know uh, what's what skills you feel are valuable for you and maybe other people will realize oh well maybe that, that skill is valuable for me to learn too so that's coming up uh uh next week here i also forgot there's Thursday night has been that right. Can I say tomorrow? I meant to say uh, Friday for um, bugs. Yeah. So a little bit tired here. So, yeah. So Thursday's the midnight ride. Friday, uh, Camp Patton is bugs, good, bad, deadly. Saturday is uh, mainstream media amidst their mind control agenda. Monday is canning uh, fruit and nut butters. And then next week here is what skills are you learning? All right. So. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you for all the great uh, comments and side chat. That was fabulous. And uh, thank you for putting up with the uh, with YouTube's uh, shenanigans tonight, uh, trying to stop us from making comments. And uh, just like to say, uh, stay happy no matter what life throws at you. Stay safe. Don't go out and do anything foolish. Keep adding to your preps, water, food, medicine, clothing. Learn a new skill every month. Plant an indoor garden because... Next year, Gray Man Prepping is hosting a indoor uh, food uh, indoor garden challenge for growing how much food you can do indoors, and we're going to be giving away uh, at least a fifty dollars Amazon gift card for that. All right, so see you around. Take care.